Hello and welcome to this little haul video I'm going to do today. Um, so, uh, welcome back if you've watched any of my videos before. My name's Lisa um, and this is my YouTube channel, Lisa's Lovely Life. Um, and if you're new here, then thank you for checking out my videos. I hope you enjoy. Um, give me a little like or maybe subscribe if you enjoy this video. So, today I'm going to be doing a little haul from a couple of little shops I've ordered from recently. Um, so, my Sam's mum, my mother-in-law, um, she gave me some money for Easter because she says that she knew I didn't really like chocolate and with obviously COVID and everything She wasn't able to get me an Easter egg um, So she gave me a little bit of money and she said I know you'll probably buy some stickers with it So that then encouraged me on to go on and buy <laughs> some stickers <laughs> So I did a little order from Little Rainbow Moon Which I've looked at Little Rainbow Moon stuff for a very long time um, And Finally, I bit the bullet and did a little order. So, um, I hope the lighting's okay. I'm actually filming in the conservatory today. Um, Sam's up in our little game, crafty, office -y room. Um, so, and the sun was really shining in here and it's lovely and warm. So I thought I'd come sit in here. So I hope the, the lighting's okay. It is very shadowy, but I've kind of made myself a little space in the sun. <laughs> so hopefully I'll be able to film this quickly enough that it doesn't change. Um, so, Little Rainbow Moon anyway, and then my other little haul that I got is from My Soap Paper, which I've ordered from before, so um, we'll do Little Rainbow Moon first. So I ordered these little stickers, which I thought were really cool. So I've found with my journal pages that I've not really been dating them very well, and I've not really been able to keep track of what day is what. So I've ordered these because these are little date stickers, so um, for May next month I'm going to use these, so every day I'll do a little... Date. I've got lots of washing things with like Monday, Tuesday, day of the weeks, but I don't really, I'm not very good at dating them, so that is my plan. Um, and then I got some lovely washi, so I got this one which is rainbows. Um, if you see my Instagram, I actually just posted a page I did, which I'll show you now, um, this week. So I did some pre decorating this week because I started my new job. Um, so I now work Monday to Friday, so no more night shifts. Um, so, but I didn't know how I'd feel when I got home, so I thought if I pre-decorate some pages, I could just write in kind of what I've done in the day. Um, when I've done this before and I've pre-decorated pages, I've never really liked them and I've always kind of gone back and covered them up or peeled off the washi or whatever I've put on the page um, because it hasn't fitted with how I feel that day or what's going on that day. Oh, I love this orange one. Can you see that? I hope that's okay in the camera. Um, so... But this week it worked really well. So let me see if I can find a little page of it. So here's the little page with the washi. So we use that there. Um, and then I'll show you another page in a second. So I also ordered this washi, so this is really nice. It's like little fields. So it reminded me of going for a walk and and, and I went for a walk with my friends the other week and one place we went you could um when you were high up on the, the mountain top you could see and it kind of reminded me of this little view so i love that it's kind of like watercolored isn't it and then i ordered this color blast so this is like pigment powder so i've seen other people use this it's like a little powder you only need a tiny bit but you put the pigment powder on and then you spray it with water um and then it like the color goes everywhere now, I might actually just give that a little go in a minute. Um, and then I got something called a creative grab bag. So this is what actually prompted me to go and look on the website and actually order um, this creative grab bag. So I think she posted on Instagram or something that she'd just put some on the shop. So I went and had a little look and that's when I ordered this and added these extra bits in. So this, I think, was £8. Um, and it's like a little creative grab bag. So it's just lots of different bits and pieces. So there's lots of lovely papers. I have used a couple of bits on this, so you might notice that some of them are ripped. Um, so you've got a little tag, some nice card there, a couple of nice shells, so it's all kind of the same theme, it's lovely, it's right on my street, uh, um, I hope you can see these with the shadows, well, I'm right in the shadow, um, this one, there's more and more there. Colourful. 
There's a fly in here and I can hear, oh, a little, is it a bee? There's a fly or something in here and I can hear it buzzing around. And I'm sorry if you can hear any of that outside noise because it kind of picks everything up in the conservatory. Um, this is lovely, this is like some little tissuey paper stuff. So I've used a little piece of that as you can see. And I'm just a bit of card. Lots of other little pictures. So this was all in the creative grab bag. Um, some little tissue paper circles. Um, and then some stickers. So there was these, I've used one of them. They're like little like landscape watercolours. They're really nice. And some little, I've used a couple of these. You've got some deers, some bunnies, some owls and some foxes. And then some little label stickers, which are like glittery. And a stencil. I love a stencil, so I can't wait to do something with that. Kind of like wood it's kind of like trees but they're all different sizes and then some silver leaf which i don't have a clue what i'm gonna do with this <laughs> but i'm sure i'll find something might do like a creative art page or something with it or oh, i shouldn't have opened that <laughs> so that was little rainbow moon um i might just give this a little go let's see if i can find a piece of paper this is exactly what i want this is my little wasted book, so whenever I'm doing watercolours or anything, I normally um, end up putting in here, as you can see, it's just a load of rubbish. Um, and in the back I've done like, where I've tried to clean my stencils, it's actually made a nice little pattern. This was a stamp I made. So, let me just get some water. Okay, like I say, I've, I've only ever watched like one or two people do this before, so I might not be doing it right. <laughs> But I believe it's very pigmenty and you really don't need a lot, so it's kind of dusty as you open it even. Let's just maybe do that for now and see what's so pretty. It's kind of all gone in the spine of the book. All right, I've actually just got a spray bottle here for where I water the plants, so I'm just going to use this. Empty. Look at that. That's really cool. I'm gonna try and that's really cool. See all them colours. Oh no, the sun's gone away. <laughs> I hope it still focuses okay. So I love that. I can't wait to do some pages of that. It's got so many colours in it. I don't know if it's picking up on the camera, but it's really pretty. Oh, that's nice. I'll leave that there to dry and I'll see what it looks like after. So my other little holes. I've got a couple of other little bits. Oh, oh, I've just found these. So amethyst stones. So they were in that little pack as well. Which I'm at, is my eh, bleh, is actually my birthstone. So that was kind of nice. I don't know what I'll do with them, but I'll find something. So onto my sew paper. So my sew paper. So I went onto here and ordered these because I wanted some better colour of brush pens. I seem to have a lot of pinks in my brush pens. I've got like a brown and a green, but I didn't have any sort of blues or yellows. Now I don't know if I've ordered the right pack. I think I might have ordered the wrong one. And I also, while I was there, oh, my floor went off. While I was there, I ordered a couple of other bits, obviously, as you do. Um, so, oh no, actually, I've got a yellow and a blue. So they're the two main ones I wanted, and it was actually cheaper just to buy the pack rather than just the individuals. So I've got, these are the Zebra Mild Liner brush pens. So I've used these before. Um, like I said, I've got a couple of other colours. I think I've actually got one really similar to that. Maybe I have that exact one. Oh, it's slightly different. Slightly darker. Um, but yeah. So we've got a brown, like a pinky corally colour, a yellow, orangey, a lilac -y and a blue. So you get a brush pen that side. And a just a felt tip. Point pen. So yeah. So that's what like I said, that's why I actually ordered this. Um for these brush pens. Hello. And then while I was there, I obviously ordered some washi tape. 
I'm kidding with you. Um, and then I ordered this pen. So these are the Sharaska Sharash Sarah I can't say it. <laughs> the Zebra Sara Sarashka. I don't know what it is. Clip pens. But they're 0.5 tip and they're really nice and inky to write with. So I've got one. Oh, I must have left it upstairs. I've got one, a grey one. It's like a dark grey. And I think when I ordered these previously from this place, I think I, Sam ordered me some stuff from here for my birthday last. Um, it didn't have the black. So I decided to get the dark grey and it's great. I do most of my journaling actually in it because I really like the way it feels. So I ordered the black and I ordered this one because at the time it was I thought oh that's a good colour to have I'm sorry this one's changing again um to come back out so this time when I went on I thought oh I'll try and order myself a black so this one's called something like Cecia Cecia black and when it's come today it's this colour which is the same as this one I've already got but when I've gone back on and looked at my orders, they haven't sent the wrong one. I've just ordered the wrong one. So it's kind of like, it's meant to be like a black currant colour. So it's like a really dark purpley red. That's the idea. So I made a boob, but oh well. Maybe I'll do a, give away, a giveaway at one point and that can be just thrown in there. Um, I also got some lovely little freebie stickers. So they're cute. Oh, look at that cat. That is exactly how my cat was lying this morning. That's really cute. And these little person and a couple of little other things I love when you get freebies so that's them and then two washes so these were really nice and springy I haven't actually got them out but this one's like the tulips can you see that is it focusing we'll get out a little swatch It's lovely. Love that. It definitely reminds me of spring with all the tulips. I'm probably a bit late now, they're all starting to fizzle out a bit. And then this one, this one reminded me of summer. And if you don't know, orange is my favourite colour. Oh, that's a nice box, isn't it? We can use them bits. Oh, it's one of them ones that's not actually a tape, it's like got a back in. You know what I mean? Like, it's not taped. It's still like washy, but you have to peel off the back. So yeah, so that's like an orange flowery one. So that's that. So that was my MISO paper. And while I'm here doing this little haul, um, if you've watched any of my previous videos, you might have seen that I subscribe to um, a sticker. I have a sticker, oh, a sticker subscription. I just subscribe to, obviously. Um, call from Mrs. Brimbles. So Mrs. Brimbles um, does. She also does them in like crafty boxes and stuff. But every month she has a different subscription. Um, and this month it was a retro th theme, so it's quite cool. So I'm going to show you that as it just came. I think I might have used one or two things from it, but I'll show you that. So I get six sheets every month and it's a different theme every month. So this month it's like a retro um, 90s baby, which I was born in the 90s. So I can kind of relate to most most of this stuff, especially Furbies. Love Furbies and Rob's kids and Tamagotchis, all that sort of stuff. So she does all the artwork and her husband prints it and all um, packs it and sends it all as a little family business. So you get some different shapes and things and then different boxes i like these to do's and these bits and pieces i'm going to start using these i think um and different boxes and then there's some different shapes sometimes you get some actual like art work so i'm not art photographs that are like real life photographs within i think because normally you only get one sheet of random cuts and then the others are all normally squares and rectangles but this this week we or this month sorry we got these ones too so that one and then some washi strips so they're cool and then some words 
Now, this is what I love the most, I think. I use these on nearly every page in my journal. So, I love these, basically. <laughs> so, that is them. So, like you can see, I've, I've, I've used a few already. But, yeah. I think it's £8 a month for just the sticker subscription. Um, so, it's Mrs Brimble's. I'll link all these shops below. Um, I haven't really had much recently. I've not really been buying and spending on stuff like this. But, like I say, I, um, I got some money from a collection at work as well. So, I had a little bit more money. And I treated myself to them things off my mother in law's Easter present. Sorry, I'm chasing the sun. So, like I said, I thought I'd just show you these. So, this folder is my printables folder. Um, now, I've signed up to two Patreons now. So, I originally was with um, Daisy from My Green Cow. Um, so, Daisy does all these drawings and artwork and she does printables. So, I'm in, I think, the second tier or the first tier where I get extra videos and I get the printables every month. She also has happy mail tier, so she makes it up and sends it out in the post, but I just, I'm with the printable tier. So every month she does a different theme and you can print off um, the printables. Now I sometimes print them on sticker paper and sometimes I just print them on normal paper. Um, but I use a lot of this stuff in my journals, so. She does a lot of like wordy things as well. I really like stuff like this, like you were, I was just saying with the other things. Um, this was a little extra one she did because it was, she'd hit like a target of Patreon she wanted so that was a little extra one but every month there's a different theme now at the minute you can go back as well and print off all the old ones so that is what I did um, when I first signed up um, so I've got like a good collection here to go through um, at the minute I am trying to use up a lot of my supplies and stuff and not buy new stuff and this is a big part of that um, there's a lot of stuff in here and lots of things I can use so it's just trying to make sure you use it <laughs> using up your stash rather than hoarding it which we all love to do in the crafty community, don't we? So, yeah, like I said, it's a different theme every month. I love these. These ones are great. Um, you've probably seen, if you've seen any of my journal pages that I do use these, and I've mentioned um, Daisy from My Green Cow before. So, like I say, lots and lots and lots of different ones there. So, oh, yes, different themes for every month. So you get into Christmas, into spring. And like I say, I've done a lot. I've printed off a lot, a lot of old ones as well. So there's loads and loads there. And then on to my other Patreon. So I've recently just signed up to um, Inky Quill's Patreon. So if you've probably seen some of Inky Quill's um, YouTube videos. She's got lots of journaling, lots of project life, lots of um, junk journaling, art journaling videos. So I really like her junk journaling art videos. Um, I've been getting into them a lot more and she did a live stream the other week and I sat up and watched it for ages and by the end of it I decided that I was going to sign up to her, her Patreon as well and she's got lots of printables on there so she does things like this so these are like journal cards which I really want to get back into like project life and stuff so I decided that I'd join up and print off some of these and maybe that would encourage me to get back into my project life because I think I'm only up to April last year I need to catch up with that but obviously life's just been a bit different um, so yeah, so these are all the sorts of things. I went back and printed off a couple of old, older ones. Um, I think she did mention that she was maybe going to stop, delete some of the old ones or remove them so you could only get so many months behind. But at the minute, there's still quite a lot of months on there. So I went through and just printed off a couple of different ones that I like the look of. So these are all on sticker paper, but I want to get some, some nice card for the journaling cards. These ones I thought I'd use in my journal, but for the project life, I want to get some nice card. Um to print them on but yeah they're all so lovely so much pretty artwork so yeah i just thought i'd share that because it's some it's too it's good it's a good way of supporting like um independent artists and um, people who are trying to make a living out of this sort of stuff um and some of their artworks are so pretty and so it's so easy i um i have a hp printer so I pay for my ink as like a monthly subscription thing. It's like 99p a month or 1.99 a month. Um, and I get so many sheets a month. So, and the sheets you don't use, they roll over to the next month. So, and then as soon as your ink gets, I think like a quarter of the way or halfway empty, they send you a new cartridge out. So you've always got a spare cartridge sitting there. And I've absolutely loved that. It's been really good. Um, and hence why I've been able to print out so many things like this. So yeah, so that is my little haul video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, yeah thanks for checking it out if you have um, maybe I'll have things like this again in the future I'm going to record a little March journal flip through after this once I've got my breath back 
Um, so yeah, thanks for checking it out. Bye!